Hello everyone and welcome to Amigos Plays. Tonight I'm going to be taking a look at Fiendish Freddy's Big Top of Fun. This is Aaron of the Amigos. Let's give this a whirl. Uh, this game, a, a childhood favorite of mine. Well, childhood I say teenage years. Uh, this game came out in 1989. It was uh, put out by Mindscape, uh, which is a... I uh, always like the name, <laughs> frankly. The... Uh, Design of Chris Gray. This is sort of his baby. Uh, always like this opening. We are playing the PAL version, so we're going to get a little cut off here at the bottom. Uh, Fiendish Freddy's beautiful rendering there. The best he'll look in this game. He looks far more cartoony throughout. Um, <coughs> I uh, I always dug the opening of this, and you can see as I let some of these credits show. You can see Chris Gray was. This was his baby. A Grey Matter, which is an awesome, uh, <laughs> awesome design team name, if anything. All right, let's fire this thing up. I like, hey, the music. Give Igor some credit there. Uh, I thought he did a good job. I mean, it's wacky. Don't get me wrong. It's incredibly wacky. So, we've got the opening here. This game reminds me an awful lot of Three Stooges, uh, you know, in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, aside from just the events. Uh, but the uh, the way it's drawn, Dewey Cheatham and Howe, straight out of a Three Stooges short. Uh, Got to pay this bank loan, which is exactly what was going on in Three Stooges as well. The uh, the bank must be played. I like the fine print. I like all of that. And uh, there goes the poor ring announcer trying to uh, get, a, get a word in. And of course, the clown car with the evil fiendish Freddy. Doesn't look evil, but he's exceptionally evil. Murderous clown. So, <laughs> I always think that's clever since you're at this point you'd be waiting for the discs to load. One thing I remember about this game, uh, of course, this is the WHD load version of this running off of uh, running off of a compact flash. <laughs> I always like this too, actually. The the Barker. I always play the cool. Yes, the cool tiger. And, uh, but I think that's cute. The kids' hat word on. Like I said, just attention to detail. Didn't have to put that much effort into that menu, but it's always neat. And Shazam. Maybe that's why the uh, circus is going broke, since this guy's the <laughs> ring announcer. But I remember in this game that uh, the loading was just brutal. It was just brutal. I mentioned this when we did the uh, review on the show. That's the reason I didn't play it that much, just because it took so long to uh, to get into the events. This is a. Uh, much more palatable. The WHD load uh, makes this a, a much easier task. And I remember when these little, when the yes, when this little thing came up, you were so happy because you'd waited for so long. So let's give this a whirl. Diving. I think this is a neat event. I do not have the uh, joystick positions memorized, and I don't have my little chart in front of me here, so I'm just gonna wing it. Which means I'll probably not do well at the. Uh, Diving Porsche, but I like the muscle muscle man here. He's got the cool handlebar mustache. So the gimmick on this is you've got to land in that tub, and on the way down you have to do the dives that I can't even remember how to do this one. Uh, you have to do these dives that the uh, are announced up in the upper upper left hand corner. The uh, oh, come on, which one is this? You have to keep rolling the stick to keep your guy spinning, and you have to keep there we go. You have to keep the uh, crosshairs in the middle of that of that tank to uh, to get in so every time you complete a dive you get to move up to the next hardest level and uh, uh, so we're at this we're at the uh, third highest tier of the or the second highest tier of the, uh, of the ladder here here we go let's see if we can blend one of these now take gum it I'll get this a second Give me a second here uh, here we go no. I think I know these after playing this for a while, but I've never been good at memorizing. There we go. All right. All right. Let's keep it going here. The swan dive. I got to know that one. Nope. Oh, shucks. You can see that was a bucket there. I like how your guy raves his fist in defiance there. All right. I'm going up to the second highest tier here. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's making, but uh, <laughs> it's not enough. So here we go. Okay, I think we can get the yoga. Come on, spin it, spin it. There we go. Now the, uh, some of these dives are great. Swan dive, I think we knew this one. Come on. Dump something, guy. 
You can see we're having trouble hanging on here. We're gonna get it back in. You sort of have to spin while you're there. It is. You have to sort of spin the stick while you're moving it in a direction. It's not the easiest thing to do, but unless Phoenix Freddy comes out the screw with you. All right, cinder block. Believe it or not, that's successful. All right, the highest uh, dive we can do here. Okay, go for it. I'm sure Phoenix Freddy will be out the screw with us. He will come out during the events to try to make you fail. Which I don't, here he comes. He'll, in this case, he's got a little fan and a balloon to try to blow you off, off course. Come on. Come on. Up here you go. Man, I'm way off course. Yeah, this might get ugly. Come on. You can do it. No. Would you go? Wow, well, I forgot about that dive. Alright, we gotta get back on here. Come on. At least I can hit, hit, this, hit the dive here. Come on. No. Oh, boy. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, I might make it. Oh. oh, into the cup. Into the cup. So, that wasn't the most successful attempt, but uh, it uh, it uh, got me through all the events. Now, these judges are great. you got a panel of, I think it's uh, six judges who are clowns and bums for five judges. Oh, uh, they yeah. When you don't hit the dives they request, you get the the bad treatment. So I'm hoping they don't hose me too bad. Ugh, not great. Four hundred twenty bucks. Keeping in mind that you need ten grand and you've got what is it six events to do it. You're gonna you need fifteen hundred two thousand bucks a pop. Juggling. Um, it's funny. A lot of these events I have real mixed success. Sometimes I I can do pretty well at them, and sometimes I absolutely suck. And this is. This one and, and Tightrope are two of the ones I just it, are, are tough on me. So let's we'll give it a shot here. Okay. The object of this is just to keep the balls moving. It's a weird dynamic as you shift the stick back and forth with the button and try to keep these things up. And occasionally uh, you'll see Phoenix Freddy pop out. And uh, we'll go. No, okay. It's okay to drop a couple, but here he comes. You see him luring with the uh, seal away with a fish. So he can toss in a bomb like a jerk. And so you've got to get this bomb out of here. Let me get something else in my hand. Uh, and if, if you throw this back, oh, wow. And that's the end of me. I uh, was hoping I could get that. Eventually, you could throw that bomb. Oh, man. I get one shot at it this time. So they're not going to like this a bit with that effort. Uh, eventually, you can get to the point where you, he's throwing out missiles. You're, you're juggling chainsaws and babies and all sorts of nonsense. The judges are not going to be kind here, I have a feeling. Yeah, they, they didn't like it. <laughs> I like their antics, I will say. They do amuse me. Well, it's just about the same amount of money for <laughs> two seconds work. So, well, moving on. The, oh, boy. I have never been successful at this particular event, the trapeze. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I was always great at, like, Jungle Hunt. I, this is sort of similar, but the problem with this is I, just, I have a hell of a time just lining up the, uh, you know, the trapeze. I don't know if I'm too cautious or... I mean, it's really tough. Let's give this a whirl. All right. You can see there's someone dancing around the background. Okay, here we go. I got one. This thing's unforgiving, too. If you jump too early or too late... Yeah, oh, there she goes. I like that graphic of people scurrying away as you fall to your doom. I think this one gives you a couple. Okay, let's try again. See, now this is going to be tough to time. I'm going to try to do it. I think I can hit it here. Go! Go! No, 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 no! Oh! Uh, a bodacious girl bites the dust. Oh! They are not going to like that performance, I'm afraid. Wish I could show you guys a little more of what these events hold, but I am not having my best effort here. Okay, well, let's see how they. I have a feeling they're going to give this a very low score. <laughs> a couple of these judges look rough. Oh, 160 bucks. Yeah, it's not looking good for the uh, circus, folks. Okay. 
Okay, well, this is a... I, I'm halfway decent at this event. It's sort of a mixed bag, really. One thing you should remember as we're playing this is this game has a little little graphic glitch up there on the WHD load. That's unusual. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Um, the uh, This game came on three discs, and it was quite a bit of swapping. Okay, this, this event, you try to bust these bubbles without hitting your beautiful assistant here. So let's see if we can... I'm off a good start here. There's one. Let's get down here. comes Frey to, to hose you. He tries to throw bombs to distract you. Alright. This has been simply just trying to time it. Um, I can usually get past the first board and then I have a little more trouble with the second one. I haven't shot her yet, so there's something there. Oh, whoops. Almost got her. There's one. Okay, if I can get this green one, we're laughing. A little higher. Almost. I got it. <laughs> Alright, finally, some success. Okay. I like the spread of these. I should better get most of these, I think. Here we go. We're off and running here. No. <coughs> Freddy can only do so much on this one to hose you. Although it is funny when you uh, when you fail at this. Well, when you may see. Okay, I'm I'm kicking butt here. I'm in good shape. Oh, come on. No, too late. Oh, come on. That was perfect. Okay. <laughs> this sucks. You've got a timer here, too, to contend with, although I should have plenty of time. I, I am not hitting that. Let's, uh, okay, okay. Let's try, let's try the blue one here. Okay. Ah, oh, disaster, and there she goes. Phoenix Freddy. <laughs> with a wrench. He's loosened the, uh, the spinner. Well, the judges might not hate this. I mean, that was a halfway decent performance. Let's see if they give me some love here. Alright. Okay. Hey, alright! That's not too bad. A couple of smiles. Oh, 1500 bucks. That's what we need. All right. I don't think we're back in the game, but that's... I've not totally embarrassed myself. Okay, speaking of embarrassment. This event has, has haunted me over the years because I am so bad at it, but occasionally I can do it. And I don't know... I don't know what changes. It's the, it's the darndest thing. Like, the last time I played this, I was getting across the tightrope every time, but I just kept running out of time, and Freddy would... <clears throat> if you take too long, Freddy basically uh, kills you. And so, I'm going to try to go a little quicker here. No, no, no. Uh, not good. Up, nope. the stunned children and their mom. And this is going to end poorly for our poor tightrope walker. I think this is a cute scene. Darkly cute. And there he goes. <laughs> Of course, Freddy has no trouble walking across the tightrope with his huge clown shoes and a mallet. Which is... It's amusing. If Freddy had turned himself to help the circus, I think we'd be in good shape. He can do all these events quite easily, apparently. Alright, let's try this again. The object of this is you have to move the joystick in the opposite direction when the thing turns red. Okay, we're off to the good spot here. No, turn the other way. Oh, turn the other way. Turn the other way. Okay, okay. No, no! Oh! Oh... Uh. Well, I don't know why she keeps bringing these kids back when I'm on that tightrope. Freddy has a couple different animations here. We'll see what he breaks out. Nope, it's the mallet again. Oh, there he goes. There's another one where he sort of like pulls your fingers off one at a time. And when he's on the last finger, the guy's shaking his head like, no, no, no. Freddy's like, oh, yeah. I don't know if I get another shot at this or not. I think that might be it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, they're not going to like that performance. Let's see if they cut me some slack here. 
not I'm not confident. <laughs> okay. Come on, guys. Oh no, they hate it. When they fall asleep, you're in you're in big trouble. Oh, pot of the face. Let's see. A oh, hundred bucks. Zowie, that's brutal. That is brutal. Okay. Well, this is the last event, Human Cannonball. Uh, again, I'm. I have my moments on this. I have. Uh, sometimes I can get it done, and sometimes I can't. So we'll see how we do here. I think it's interesting. This was released on a lot more systems than I would have guessed. The uh, Amstrad, the Atari ST, C64 version, which I've not seen. I'd like to see that. And there was a PC version, which I'm, I uh, haven't seen either. I like your bodacious uh, bikini babe over here loading up the TNT. So the object of this is to position your net in a point where you are, where you're going to land in it. So let's see how we do here. It's all about when you launch, too. That's oh, come, no, oh. I may be over. Maybe I've pushed it too far here. Let's give it a shot here. One, two, three, go. And there he goes. I like the, uh, I like the cat here. Oh, this isn't gonna look good. When he does the spin, that means he's even down and he's heading down. I don't think we've got enough distance yet. Oh, just like Bugs Bunny, right in the dirt. Okay, so moving it a bit forward, I think. Now you can look at that scope and kind of uh, get an idea of where you should have put it. So we're gonna try again. I like to use the exact same TNT every time. That way you can at least kind of gauge it. There was a time where I'd drawn up a little chart. I could kind of guess where he was going to land, depending on where you shoot. But uh, you can see Freddy coming in. Again, this is a time element here. This, I've put it a little further back. Let's we'll see if I can get a little more height here. Okay, bam. So once you uh, launch, there's not much you can do except watch the show. Okay, this is, this is looking pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, just short. Bad gummit. Okay, I can do this. By God, I'm gonna land this sucker yet. I need a good score here. All right, darling, load it up. All right, here we go. Scoot it up a half a notch. All right. A little further back. Here we go. One. One. Come on. One, two, go. There he goes. Okay. I think we can do this. Okay, you think this guy would lose confidence. It's gonna be close. Don't overshoot. Yeah, there it is. Bam. Finally. Okay. We're gonna go up to the next level. Lose use a little bit of dynamite this time around. Do a real close one here. The uh, element of getting this done before Freddy gets here makes you panic a little much. I may have, I may have moved this too far away. Okay, let's see what we can do here. You can you can shoot at any level of the cannon too. Oh yeah, I'm in deep trouble here. He is not going to make it. Ah! Oh. Well, <laughs> shoot. So time to be judged. I think that was the last of my attempts. Yep, here they come. And we need about oh, I think we need about 7,500 bucks to take this to the house. So I have a phone the circus is in deep trouble. Okay. Maybe they'll give me a couple bucks here. I did successfully complete one. Nope, they hated it. They're tough. These judges are tough. You can tell they're a dignified bunch. Two bums, clown, and gosh, two mutants. 460. Wow. For a grand total. So I fell just under $7,000 short. And so, there goes the circus, everyone. <laughs> this is, I do enjoy this, because I've seen it so many times, I, I should enjoy it. The uh, circus. Night falls on the circus. The tent is abruptly taken down, and here comes the building. I like the effect here. They wasted no time, and you can see why Freddy was so far fired up to uh, be on, involved. Is there Freddy Towers? So, what a jerk, ladies and gentlemen. 
But uh, that's a quick look at Phoenix Freddy's Big Top of Fun. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. It's a game you can sit around a master. Like I said, I, like, a, like a California Games or whatnot. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Aaron of the Amigos. Uh, be good to yourselves. Be good to others. And we'll see you next time. Adios.